We are getting an idea of how voters in Michigan feel about increasing the minimum wage in our state. This comes following the Michigan Supreme Court decision not to put a $15 minimum wage on the ballot. The group behind the ballot initiative, though, says they're still optimistic. All eyes will be on the Michigan Supreme Court in the coming months after it rejected a ballot initiative that would have let voters decide on a $15 minimum wage. You know, I'm disappointed in the Michigan Supreme Court's decision. State Representative Donovan McKinney speaking during a press conference today. One of the top issues that I heard on the doors, uh, it, it wasn't guns, it wasn't abortion. It was the fact that I don't have enough disposable income outside of paying my bills to do anything else. One Fair Wage hosted the briefing to share new polling data about how voters feel. Yeah, but we have done surveys on all kinds of states on increasing the minimum wage, on one fair wage, and this idea is wildly, wildly popular. Of 500 likely voters in Michigan with a margin of error of plus or minus 4.4 percent, the results from Lake Research Partners show 56 percent support raising minimum wage. When people think that this is one of the major solutions to the top problem out there, in every group, we see inflation cost of living a top issue. Despite the high court's recent ruling, one fair wage remains optimistic as a separate legal case is currently under review. It stems back to 2018 when Michigan's then Republican-controlled legislature adopted two ballot initiatives regarding minimum wage and sick time, only to water them down right before Democrats took control. The court will have to decide if it was constitutional. We are very optimistic that the Supreme Court will, in fact, rule as the Michigan Court of Claims did that what the Republican-led legislature in 2018 did was unconstitutional, making $12 and ending subminimum wages the law of the land. State Representative Brian Posthumus, who represents a large portion of northern Kent County, says anyone suggesting increasing the minimum wage as a solution for inflation must have skipped Economics 101. Democrats like to talk about the government mandating higher wages because it distracts from the fact that their policies are making it more expensive to live and raise a family here. I prefer instead to focus on getting the cost of living under control and helping local businesses create jobs for their community.